Welcome to Pharmacy and Poisons Board online video tutorials. In today's video, we are going to look at how to retain your products using Prims version 3.1. To access Prims, you can go to our website pharmacyboardkenya.org and click portal version 3.1 to go to the portal itself. At this point, you will see Prims version 3.1 which you click and log in. Once you have logged in, you come to the Prims uh, dashboard. Here you will see there's a menu at the top there with the profile, GMP, products, inspections, and logout. On the dashboard here, we have the same menu again repeated, but this time with quick access. Now to retain your product, you can click product retention or go to the menu products and click product retention. Once you click product retention, it takes you to the retention uh, page. On this page, it's divided into two. There is the left side and the right side. On the right side, we have the modes. Either you're retaining a single product or retaining a kit. Then below here, we have where you can see all the products what you are seeing. Submitted products, queried products, approved and rejected products. On this other side, we have the cut where your products, the ones that you are retaining, are stored. Once you have selected your products and put them in the cart, then you can go to retain and you send them for retention. Then we have empty cart in case you don't know how to proceed. Then below here you have the products that are ready to be retained. Now one thing you'll notice is that on this other side, you'll see the, the date it was last retained. This is very important because it may attract some uh, non-retention uh, fines. So let's see. How then do you do a single retention? All you need to do is to select the product that you want to retain and add to cut by clicking one of these ones. I'll randomly select one and let's see what happens. Once I click that product, something has happened here. Error could not add the product to cut check in GMP site now this tells me that this product does not have a valid GMP site as long as it, has, it doesn't have a valid GMP site it cannot be retained let me try another one it also has a similar problem okay and if you go to the cut you see your cut is empty okay so let me just clear the cut so that I can restart afresh uh, to demonstrate again So, what's happening here? Once you have selected a product whose GMP is not valid, the system will automatically block you from retaining it. For example, if I select this product here, you can see this error has occurred telling me that I cannot retain the product. And the product was not added to the cart. And even if I click retain, nothing will happen. Why? The product does not exist in the cut. Then, therefore now, let me add products that I would wish to retain. So I add this product. That one has been added successfully. You can see it has been added to cut. And if I view the cut, I can see I have one product. And since I have not retained for three years, I have been I have two extra years. And therefore, uh, 450. And then, I can come here and and another product to the cut. Now that one is okay, and it has, it, and then I can come and fuel it. I still have two two years fines, okay. I have one year penalties and one year retention. Now should I get at this point that decide not to retain all the products? I can click remove, and the product is automatically removed from the cut, and it comes back here. So once I do that, I can now come and click retain products and by clicking retain products it takes me to the invoice so at this point the cut has been created and is now directly directing to the invoice uh, in the invoice now i'll be invoiced for one product because that's what i'm retaining at the moment and since it was 300 including the fines the total is this now i can go and pay this and proceed to and automatically the product will be auto-retained.
थैंक यू